Hi guys! So today I'm bringing to you another Crazy Factory haul and um, I'm gonna explain a couple of things. So first off, why I can't do these Crazy Factory hauls that often um, is because I'm a student and I always want to get the free shipping option which is only available if you order for 20 euros or more from Crazy Factory. Now 20 euros or more to a student is a lot and this is actually one of the hobbies that I have basically my only hobby that I have that it costs money and a lot of it basically and um, so yeah I do need to kind of save up to get some of these things uh, the total on this order was 30 euros a little bit less than 30 euros and so that's actually quite a lot and so yeah I do have to save up to be able to order from Crazy Factory because there's no point to pay like 4 euros for shipping or just get a couple of things I mean I can't really hold a couple of things there's no point so that's why I kind of um, take a longer time to collect everything and then do a haul and I also wanted to thank and welcome every new subscriber I've been getting like one subscriber every day for a couple of weeks now and that's amazing and currently I'm looking at my channel and I have 360 subscribers which is amazing thank you guys welcome um, it's amazing I remember when I got 100 subscribers it was it was an amazing feeling to me that is honestly something special um, and now it's 360 and it keeps growing and it's it's really amazing so thank you all again uh, like I've said in all of my videos if you want to contact me you can leave comments write me uh, an email and me on Facebook whatever and I definitely will talk to you some of you have added me on Facebook and we have talked and uh, it's really amazing to know you guys Okay, so now let's get to the haul. Now, I also wanted to show you the earrings I did. Um, I'm going to try to zoom in. Okay. These little biohazard ones. Now, these are actually pendants I, brought from, I bought from my Crazy Factory and I hauled them I think in the second or third haul, I don't even remember, quite a long time ago and now I finally made them into earrings and I've been getting a lot of compliments on them and it truly is an amazing thing to be able to buy a lot of different really cheap pendants from Crazy Factory that you can make into your own jewellery and they are amazing gifts. Uh, I have given them to my friends and everybody seems to like them and you can make them into keychains, uh, necklaces, earrings, you know whatever you want so that's a really really cool thing in my opinion okay so then gonna get right into this order so again they come in a little um, envelope they give you the check the receipt whatever and then you gave you then they give you a sticker this is my this time and uh, yes so the first thing are these fake uh, expanders these were 688 together this is what they look like this is from their newest collection I remember I think they are still in the new collection I don't know how long they keep things in that new area the gauge is 1.2 as usual and the diameter is 8 so yes these little cheetah leopard print ones really really like them then oh my god I absolutely fell in love with these when I saw them I have similar ones in just completely white but I knew when I saw them I had to get them because I really really love them these are these fake spirals that have this kind of black broken pattern and these were 538 together and the diameter is 8 um, I I mentioned this before these little balls on here they are acrylic and I always uh, change them into surgical steel ones they won't be noticeable you don't have to worry but these acrylic ones do break and kind of fall off and I don't like them so I usually change those um, so that's a little tip for you guys then I bought this 
This is an industrial barbell with um, a jeweled ball. The details are here. And the stone color is clear or crystal. And it's right here. Uh, then I got this captive bead ring. It was three euros and 15 cents. And I finally got a diameter 10 gauge four. So I'm so happy. However, these are both, um, I got another one and they are both surgical steels. So I'm kind of disappointed because I really wanted to get a titanium or a black coated um, surgical steel one then, or just, you know, I wanted to get a captive bead ring or a circular barbell in black. However, they do not do they do not do those um, in um, diameter ten. And I actually sent them an email uh, and asked them whether it is possible that in the near future that they will do that, or maybe they can do a custom one or something. And they said that no, they're not planning on doing them, and they don't really do custom ones. So that was kind of sad. But okay, I'll I'll make do with what I have. And yeah, the ball is 6 down to 10, gauge 4, and uh, yes. Now the um, other one, the circular barbell, was 4.90, so it was a little bit more expensive. And the ball is 6 down to 10, gauge 4, and this is what it looks like. This one looks a little bit more intimidating. Um, they are the same size, but this kind of looks bigger and kind of weirder, so I think uh, if I'm going to stretch, I'm going to put this one in, the captive bead ring, because I like that one more. So yes. Um, then I got these little cones for uh, 1.6 bars, and they were uh, 56 cents together, and they are size 3 times 6 Just these plain ones. I wanted to get them to be able to put them on this one. However, these are way too small, so uh, this one is just gonna flip right out of my nose if I just wear those. So I can't wear them. Uh, and then of course I got a stretcher or expander. This was 70 cents. It, the gauge is 4. And I know this is acrylic and I know a lot of people kind of rave about using acrylic and I don't wear acrylic. Um, only on only, uh, the balls on my tongue piercings are acrylic to keep uh, myself from damaging my teeth and um, however I do feel that I'm just stretching once with an acrylic and uh, I don't feel that uh, it does a lot of damage I don't feel that it has any difference the only fact is that this is a lot cheaper so if I'm only going to use acrylic once then I feel that it's okay. However, I know a lot of people have their own opinions and you're all entitled to your opinion. I'm not saying that this is okay, that this is right, this is just my opinion, this is what I do. And, and um, yeah, it's just cheaper right, right now. So, yeah. Uh, but again, uh, a lot of piercing shops, of course, they stretch with surgical steel. Every good piercer says that you should stretch with surgical steel, but yeah, I guess I'm just stubborn or something. Uh, so, yes, the last thing I got was from the wholesale section, and these are uh, balls for 1.6 millimeter bars, and there are 50 pieces in here, and the diameter is 4, and they were 8 euros and 40 cents. And I thought that they were going to package them separately, but then I kind of figured they're all the same size, so of course it's easier for them to just package in package them all into one. So yes, these were the last things. And uh, yes, I believe this is it now. Um, so if you have any questions, again, contact me, like this video, subscribe. Uh, if you're new here, welcome. And uh, yeah, I have a couple of video ideas that I want to do. I want to do a rant video, which is completely new. I've never done a rant video, so I, I don't really know how I'm going to be able to pull that off that I want to do on piercing um, a baby's or an infant's ears. Sorry, my Facebook. <laughs> and um, then I want to do a update on my nipple piercings. So yeah, those are the two videos that I'm planning on doing. I don't know when, but I'm planning on doing them. See you guys soon! Bye.